Hey guys, Chris here from WEC Method to take you through a follow along at home workout with our training pack. All right guys, in this workout, we're gonna perform uh, interval sets with six different exercises for about four sets. Those intervals are gonna be for 30 seconds each with about a 15 second break in between. So we'll go through uh, one round here of just a couple reps where I can go over some coaching points. Uh, we can get familiar with each of the moves. So the first movement we're gonna do of the six is gonna be a center pulsing drill with the Pro Pulse Speed Trainers, okay? So to set up for this one, We'll kind of go ahead and get the stance kind of square here. We're going to turn the toes in just a bit for me. We're going to go ahead and hold the pulsers. So the way we want to hold that is just grab a hold here. You can put a pinky on the bottom. And then we just want to make sure that the thumb is not on the top. So try to put it in one of those grooves on the side. We're going to cock the wrist back. Okay, and we're going to try to keep those wrists cocked back for the duration of the workout. So we're gonna go ahead with that position, we're gonna pull one pulser to our center chest, okay? And then we're gonna pull the other one to our armpit on the right side here, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my head over top that side, so all my weight is shifted to that right side. I'm then gonna do a double down pulse, so I'm gonna pulse both of them down simultaneously. Boom, okay, and then they'll come up switching places, all right? So we'll go kind of slow-mo here. All right, set the pattern. We'll do this for a couple more reps. Again, making sure that that one is always coming to center chest, the other's coming to the opposite armpit. And then we'll go ahead and pick up pace here, making sure we have a nice strong pulse. And ideally, if you can get that weight to shift from side to side, this is gonna be a little better for you. And if it sounds right, it is right. So you wanna get that synchronized pulse at the bottom. So, got double down uh, center pulse there. Uh, the second move we're gonna do is gonna be a compression push up. All right, so this one, we're gonna do it for a kneeling version today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on top of the dome. Okay, so I'm directly on top of the dome with my sternum. I'm gonna take the hands off to the side here. Okay, I kinda like to make this little diamond like so and we're gonna pull it off to the side, maintaining that diamond shape over the dome structure. From there, I'm gonna get my eyes up, so I have eyes on a point ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of load down into my lats. So the shoulders are pulling back, I can feel those lower, lower lats. I'm gonna press into the dome, trying to focus on those lower lats. And then what's gonna happen is as I get up here, I'm gonna feel like I'm a little sticky, so I'm gonna transition, I'm gonna tuck my tail and tuck my chin. I'm gonna feel the abs a little more and I'm gonna start feeling the pecs a bit more when I do this, as well as the, uh, the glutes, okay? And then we'll go ahead and drop right back down so there's no eccentric in this. We're gonna press up hard, we're all in those lats, then we're gonna transition to those glutes and those abs and those pecs, okay? And then we'll drop, again, tuck in that tail as we go up, tuck in the chin as we go up. And that's gonna allow you to feel that switch uh, in intention there. <sighs> All right, we'll just crank out a couple more of these, make sure we're feeling that good coordinated uh, transition. And uh, if you happen to feel really solid there, you could get up on your toes, but we're gonna try to stay down on the knees for it and really focus on the uh, compression of the dome. So that's our second move. Third move we're gonna do. So this will be with the RMT club. Uh, what we're gonna do here, so this will alternate. Every time we come back to the club uh, station in this, we're just gonna switch hands on which side you're holding the club head, but this is gonna be a uh, alternating lunge that are gonna kinda have two different positions. So side, uh, we'll start right side first. Okay, so right side, I'm gonna place the club head uh, right on my palm there. I'm gonna take the top of the head and I'm gonna throttle it. So I take it like a motorcycle handle and I'm gonna throttle it, and that's gonna kinda wind me up uh, into this lat a little more on this right side, okay? I've got that established, I'm feeling that lat. I'm gonna go ahead and take like a shallow uh, lunge by taking a step back. And what you'll see from the side shot here as I do that, so it's not a very deep lunge, okay, but I'm very much uh, weaponizing this right knee and this left elbow. So those are getting to this point straight ahead of me. I'll come up, right? So that, that shallow lunge. And then what I'm gonna do is right as I come out of that, I'm gonna flip this over my head and pull it down sort of into my front pocket on the left side here and I'm gonna tape a deep lunge, okay? Back up, 
shallow lunge. Switch the other side, deep lunge. So looking at that from the side, got that shallow lunge. As I come up, I transition. I'm gonna drop into this deeper lunge. Up, shallow lunge, deep lunge. And this right one, I'm feeling my lat. On this left one, I'm gonna be feeling my quads and my obliques a little bit more. All right, so we pattern that on the right side. Let's go ahead and do the left. So again, every round uh, we get to the club, we'll go ahead and switch which side we have the head of the club in the hand. So left side here, I'm throttling, so I really feel that left lat kind of wind up here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that shallow lunge, okay, where I'm really focused on that glute and the uh, lat here. As I come up, it transitions the other side. I'm sort of pulling this elbow to the front pocket on this side, and I'm gonna get sort of a deep lunge. So shallow, and then deep. And shallow, so lat glute. And I'm feeling the oblique and the quads a little more on that side. All right, so we got that pattern. It's our third exercise with the RMT Club. Fourth thing we're gonna do uh, is gonna be with the thicker resistance band here. So the two inch band, you could use lighter if you need to, but I think we'll be all right with the two. We're gonna go ahead and step uh, into the loop of the band, okay? I like to kind of put it back a little closer to my heels. So this allows me uh, good ground contact with the balls of the feet. We're gonna turn the toes in just a bit. We'll go ahead and you can loop your hand in. We're gonna do a zercher squat with this. So you can just kind of loop the arms in to get it right in the crook of the elbow there. If this doesn't feel like it's enough tension for you, if you do a little crisscross with it, you can always do that and that'll add just a bit more tension for you as you go through this. Okay, so got it in the crook of the arm. We're just gonna kinda, could go like prayer pose here. You can just grab the hands if you want and we're just gonna focus on just getting some nice good squats in here. Okay. And I don't mind if you sort of let that band kind of take you to the bottom a little bit and we just focus on this up portion of this. But at the top, you're gonna really crank down on the glutes so you can squeeze the glutes tight and sort of squeeze the abdomen nice and tight here at the top. And we're gonna just focus on keeping these shoulders uh, nice and low as we go through this. All right, so we've got that patterned. You have some intensity if you wanna change uh, to that little crisscross in there. Awesome. All right, so final movement we'll do. Uh, it's gonna be with the skinnier band. Again, you could use a bigger if you need it, but I think this will do. We're gonna do a seated row. So you're gonna pop down on the ground here. All right, so on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and just loop uh, the band just around the arch of the foot or the heels again, similar to what we just did with the two inch. And we'll do a seated row. So you can kind of grab up the band here, probably a little closer to the feet. And then we're gonna sort of be kind of hunched over a little bit here. And then as we pull the band, we're gonna get nice and tall. We're gonna feel this in those lats. And then we'll pull back down, so big pull. And I'm getting this nice little steer or rotate. So the fam thumbs are facing down and the palms are out when I'm fully extended. As I go up, the thumbs are gonna face kind of up and out, okay? And then I'm pulling in tight, I'm sticking that chest out and I'm gonna keep my eyes sort of on a target here in front of me. All right, so just patterning in that nice row. Again, you have a lot of variability on intensity with this, just grabbing lower on the band. You can do that same crisscross to kind of pull in the same way. Okay, so got some variability there. All right, and then the final movement we'll go through, it's gonna be with the RMT rope. Uh, so with this guy, uh, sort of need to establish your length first. Uh, if you're indoors, you're obviously at home, you might wanna make this a little shorter. Uh, typically I tell people somewhere around uh, sternum to belly button, uh, when they're working with a rope. So when you stand on it like that and you pull it up and keep the handles right where they're at, the top of the rope would be at the sternum, uh, typically. But indoors, we might have a little bit shorter ceilings uh, in the house. Uh, we'll go ahead and just tie some knots in the rope. We're gonna get it somewhere between belly button and potentially uh, down to the hip. So it's a very short rope. So very easily, we just take a piece of the rope. We're gonna loop it through. We get ourselves a nice little knot in there. Uh, I find when you keep these at least about eight to 10 inches apart from each other, they don't really offend uh, the rope at all in working with it. 
Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. I've already tied three others in here. So mine's a nice short rope for me. When I stand on it now, uh, it's right at my belly button. So that's perfect for me in this garage gym. So I uh, got that established, the rope's the right length. We're gonna go ahead and do an overhand figure eight. Okay, so the way we're gonna run that, we're gonna go ahead and take the rope. You kind of grab it with this okay sign just above the handles like so. We're gonna stack the right hand on top of the left. We're gonna place it off to the right side of the body. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this leading with the right thumb. I'm gonna chop down and still leading with that right thumb. I'm gonna create these overhand figure eights, okay? Now you can do this in a split stance. You can do this with your feet uh, square. But as of right now, that right thumb is constantly leading this figure eight pattern as I take each side of my body. All right, and we'll keep our eyes on a point straight ahead as we do this. This is sort of gonna be a recovery phase for us in this circuit. Uh, if you feel like you're coasting and you wanna make it a little harder, you could pick up the pace here and you could make this a part of the circuit as far as the work goes. Uh, we may also take the time to switch the lead hand on that if we're confident. So we may do the left hand on that as well. But that's the final exercise uh, in our little circuit here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my timer out. We're gonna do, uh, let's see here. I said we're gonna do 30 seconds of each movement. Okay, we got six different moves. We'll take about a 15 second break in between. That'll give us plenty of time to transition. Uh, if you're working in a smaller space than myself, that'll give you time to kind of move equipment uh, out of the way if you need to pull something in. We're gonna try to run four rounds of this together. And uh, I'm gonna put this five second countdown on. I will kind of coach through uh, first couple rounds here and then we'll get after it pretty aggressively uh, as we're getting comfortable. So I've got five second countdown here. If you're ready, we're gonna go. So starting with this center pulsing, okay? Got those wrists cocked, we're pulling the center chest, we got it up in the pit. We're gonna establish a nice rhythm. If you're feeling good, you feel like you've got that double down pulse, you're feeling that weight shift, we can pick up the pace a little bit. And running this, we got about eight more seconds. All right, we're going for uh, this push-up next. So kneeling compression push-up on the Bozo Elite. If you had to, you'd go to toes with this, but I think we should really kind of focus on this kneeling position, focus on this compression. So kind of chest on the dome, got those pressure through the outer balls of the uh, hand. We're gonna go ahead and press up. We're feeling the lats. We're gonna transition. You're in the glutes of the abs and the pecs. Drop down, go again. <sighs> Drop down, go again. <sighs> Again, glutes, abs, pecs at top. It's lats as we go up. And we're not worried about the downward phase of the eccentric phase. Just that up. Good, all right. We're gonna move on to this uh, RMT lunge. So again, each round we go to this, we'll switch which hand is holding the head of the club. For this first one, we'll start with the right side. So, got this throttled, it's in position. I feel that right lat. I'm gonna go that shallow lunge on the right. I come up, I transition, deep lunge on the left. So that's quads and uh, abs, and now let's glutes and lats. Quads and abs, glutes and lats. And you'll note too, when you're on this, all of my weight's in the left foot. All my weight's in the right foot. Left foot, right foot. Good. All right, next round, I'll do the other side. We'll go for this Zercher squat. Got a two inch band. We'll step through the loop. Again, if you want that little crisscross, you can add it for more resistance. I'm gonna go for it. If I'm here, you can just clasp the hands if you'd like or just hold them close. And we're just going up and down. And again, I really wanna emphasize this up, squeeze, and release on the way down. I'm not worried about that, that eccentric work. Big squeeze of the glutes and abs at the top. Good. All right, we'll go for our one inch band. I'm gonna run these rows. 
So seated rows, legs are out straight. We'll hook this guy around the heels or the arches. Again, you can just grab down by the ankles. Thumbs are down, palms are out. We pull in, thumbs are up and out, and we're pushing that chest through. And if you just wanna give yourself a nice little pause at that end range to get a little work. Really focusing on this nice steering as we extend the arms back out. So really getting those thumbs all the way down, all the way up. All right, we'll do a little uh, recovery with the RMT rope now. So again, we're gonna go for uh, overhand figure eights here. So okay sign with the rope. I'm gonna go ahead and go with square posture. I'm leading with that right thumb as I draw these figure eights in front of the body. Okay, I can tick the ground or not. It will kind of depend on how uh, short you've made your rope. But we should be feeling a weight shift on this movement as well. So left side, right side, left side, right side. And if we're accomplishing that, that will help uh, make sure that the rope is passing by you nice and easy. It's not gonna feel like it's gonna hit you. Boom. All right. All recovered. The intensity to that's up to you. If you wanna work a little harder, really ramp it up. If not, use it as recovery. Going back to our pulsers. So we'll step it a little, a little more in this round. Got our position, center chest, pitch, and we're pulsing. You wanna feel that weight shift. Make sure that one hand is always hitting back at center chest. The other's hitting that armpit. We're getting that elbow high and back. And just making sure you're coordinating that nice pulse. It's aggressive. Five seconds. Whew, good. And that's gonna feel a lot like you just went for a sprint, so. Whew. All right, kneeling compression push-up. Again, we'll ramp this up a little more. Again, this is, it gives back what you give to it, so push into this dome as hard as you can. And we're focusing on that nice transition into the abs and the glutes at the top. Feeling the lats on the way up. All right, good job. We'll go to this uh, arm T club lunge. This time we're gonna put the head of the club into the left hand for me. We're gonna set that throttled position. So it's palmed like a, a tray here. I'm gonna throttle it. So I feel that uh, left lat. We'll do that shallow, shallow, shallow lunge. There you go. And we'll drop down into that deep lunge. Shallow and deep. We got lats and glutes. We got abs and quads. Lats and glutes, abs and quads. Lats and glutes, abs and quads. Good job. All right. Search your squat. So our thicker band is good for this one. We'll go ahead and step through the band. Again, if you wanna do that little zigzag with it, crossing it, you can get a little more resistance without going too much. And we'll just focus on that up and let it bring you back down. Big glute squeeze, big ag squeeze. And we're trying to keep those shoulders nice and low. All right, good deal. All right, we'll go to our one inch band. Got these seated rows. Mm. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna grab load, thumbs are down, palms are out. I rotate, turn those thumbs up as I pull in and stick that chest out. And then I unwind to that front position. And if you want a little extra work, again, you could crisscross the band or you can even uh, just kind of hold this, this contracted position a little longer 
just for a little extra work. Ooh. We're really going for the steering, working on this rotational aspect of these moves. All right, going to that rope. Again, we can use this uh, for recovery, so I'll start slow, but I do want to show you what it looks like for work, so I'll go there as well. So we got that overhand eight. I'm recovering at the moment with it. It's nice and easy. I'm still leading with that right thumb currently, not really worried about the other side yet. Okay, if I want to ramp it up, I can just pick up the pace and I can use this for a little extra work if I want it. And I'm feeling that weight shift between sides as that rope comes down. All right, back to the top. Going for that pulser, that center pulsing. Again, nice cocked wrist, pinkies on bottom that'll help you from losing the pulsers. We're doing that nice loose grip on it uh, with his cocked wrist. Thumb is not on top. Center chest pitch. Center pulsing. You can really pick up the pace here if you want. That nice high elbow and back. I want this to feel like a hundred yard, hundred yard dash. All right. Okay, we'll go for that kneeling compression push up again. Okay, get the sternum on top of the dome. Got that diamond, we'll spread it out to the sides. We're pressing through the outer balls of the hand. As I go up, it's lats, and then it's gonna transition to my glutes, my abs, and my pecs. And I'm never letting up on that dome. I'm trying to press it in with that outside of that hand. And every time I get to that top, I should look down at my hands and still see sort of that diamond shape between my thumb and my pointer finger. All right, we're going back to this right side for the lunges. So throttling with the head in the right hand. Got it nice and throttled. I'm gonna do that shallower lunge on this right side. So this is lats and glutes, really weaponizing that elbow and that knee. I come up, I'm gonna go deeper as I pull this to the front pocket, and that's the abs and the quads. Lats, glutes, abs and quads. Lats and glutes, abs and quads. Whew. Whew. So I'm weaponizing the knee and the elbow to the ceiling here, weaponizing the knee and the elbow to the wall ahead of me. Whew. All right, search your squat. Whew. Two inch band here. Two inch band, I'll step through the loop. You wanna get that little crisscross, go for it. And here we're focusing on squeezing the glutes at the top and we're focusing on keeping the shoulders low and trying to squeeze the abs right at that top. You can resist the band a little more if you want or you can just focus on the legs here. Nice. One inch band, we'll go for that seated row. All right. Here we go. All right, so seated row, thumb is down, palm is out, we're pulling. Okay, if you wanted the extra work, you can crisscross that band, but thumbs down, we rotate, thumbs up, chest comes through. Whew. Nice. Okay, back on that rope. Here we go. I'm switching the left hand as the leader here now. So my left thumb is on top, 
Left hand's on top, and I'm drawing a figure eight with that left thumb. And we'll just use this as active recovery if you want it, or you can ramp it up, get a little extra work. Again, most of these exercises, they, they give you what you put into them. So you really gotta put in some quality, quality effort. All right, here we go. We got one more round. We'll start with these pulsers. Starting that center chest. We're gonna go all out here, all right? No more coaching. Make it violent. Five seconds. All right, that's some work. Go to these kneeling compression push-ups on that Bozu Elite. All right, chest is on dome. Trying to pop this ball the whole time. Less concerned with reps, more concerned with popping the dome. Getting a nice transition from lats to abs and glutes Ooh, and pecs. One more. Ooh. Whew. All right, we're going left side with these arm T lunges. Again, shallow on the left side, deep on the right. Lats, glute med. Left side, we got quads. Or right side, we got quads. Whew, and oblique. So that shallow long lunge, that really deep whew, lunge, you're feeling those quads. All right, good job. All right, got these searcher squats. And then we'll hit that row. Here we go. I'm gonna do that crisscross for extra resistance. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders low. Don't try to compensate by lifting up and pulling on that band more. Let the band win. All right, I got row. We'll finish with that rope. And that loop around. Doing thumb down, palm out. And we're rotating so that thumbs up, palms in. And that chest comes through a little bit. Whole time, I'm gonna make sure those shoulders are nice and low though. Just a good rotation. All right, we're on that rope. This last little bit of recovery. Again, went a little extra work to cap it off. You can go a little harder here with the rope. But we'll keep it nice and easy. Could even stay here a little longer if you wanted to. I'm gonna do, again, left hand on top this time. Work on my non-dominant side. Feeling that weight shift. Left, right, left, right. Got that left hand on top. That left thumb is the leader as I draw these figure eights in front of the body. All right, guys. Okay, so there's four rounds for you, 30 second intervals uh, with your uh, 
home training pack 